fun and so playing Carol, how is it? Uh, you know, it's I've been I've been trying to enjoy it as much as possible. There definitely is pressure to bring truth uh, to her to her character. She's a living legend, so of course there's that pressure to just you know um, just be as genuine as I possibly can and bringing bringing the character to life here in Manila. Um, I mean, it's it's a Grammy, it's an Olivier and Tony Award winning show, so we're so blessed to be able to do it here in Manila with direct Bobby Garcia under Atlantis Theatre. And for him to trust this role upon me, um, I just I feel so grateful. Yeah. Carol for me is more of a songwriter, is a songwriter first than a singer. Although she excels in both, because she speaks her mind in her songs. Exactly. In doing her songs, how do you relate to that spirit? Mm -hmm. um, and and that's also something that I've discovered in the whole rehearsal process. Really? Because yeah, exactly. Well, and also through through research of her as well, she really tried to get out of the way of the music. She just allowed it to really write itself through her. So the same thing in this process where sometimes you get in your mind where, where you think you can't do it or you know not 100% sure if you can really push through but now after just you know going through the rehearsal process with Greg Bobby his guidance and my research I just try not to I try not to get in the way and just let it be when, when I when I play when I portray Carol King um, so sorry what was the question again? how do you relate to her spirit uh, yes. through her songs yeah. because she bears her spirits through exactly. her exactly yeah totally so I had to definitely dig deep into whatever my, my past experiences were mm -hmm. bringing these songs to life and the thing that's so beautiful about Carol King is she finds she finds the joy in, in, in I guess the pain in the challenges that she had to I like that. She finds she finds the bright side of things and she's always such an optimistic person. Are you like that? I am. I am. Yes. Now, at first, you know, things may seem as though they're more of a, a tragedy, but down the line you see it as being a blessing and, and, and leading you to something beautiful. As a singer, um, I mean her songs are easy to sing along with. That's why they became so popular. Exactly. But as a singer, mm -hmm. are there hidden challenges in the way she writes songs? Um, in the way she writes songs... That you have to essay the songs. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about singing the songs, I mean, there's no possible way of me totally capturing the essence of Miss Carol King's voice, because her voice is so unique. Yeah. Right? So, but in the time period, the, the way that they would sing certain kind of runs, they're more in that era. So I had to listen to it and, and make sure that it makes sense of, of what I'm doing, because she, she also also would kind of have that free, she, she would do kind of runs as well. So when I do those, I have to be careful about them as well. That, she, I, that I channel. Why is she a good singer? Because she's truthful. She's truthful. She doesn't do things because of, of wanting, I don't know, I guess acceptance or praise from others. But she just really sings straight from her, from her spirit, from her soul, from her heart. So that's what makes her an amazing singer. How did you get the role? How did I get the role? Uh, when I was here for Sideshow, Direct Bobby asked me to learn a couple songs. Okay. Uh, we recorded them on video and he had to send them over to licensing uh, Beautiful. And they said that Miss Carol King approved me to play her role. Wow. Yeah. Did you hear anything else that she said? I just I just heard that a couple days ago. Oh. I didn't know, so I just found that out too. So I'm What song of hers did you sing? I sang Beautiful and Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow. Is this still running in, on Broadway? It currently is running on Broadway, yes. Have you seen it? I saw it when it came to Cal not Calgary, but Edmonton, so in Canada. It was on a North America tour, so I saw it. And, and by then I knew that I was cast, so I was just, just watching it. I was just I was blown away by every element in the show, and just also knowing that I would be that, that woman on stage. Right. We talked about her songs, um, her voice. What about the story itself? What does it say? What is the takeaway from someone who's watching it for the first time, who doesn't know Carol King? Right, right. Well, it's the thing that makes the show so successful is that they were able to weave these songs so successfully into her life story. From when she was a 16-year-old girl aspiring to be a songwriter, all the way up until her her achievements as an artist, as a singer, um, Grammy winning for her album Tapestry, as well as a singer as well. So, you did your assignment then? Of 
core is, uh, you, you have to. Um, there's there's no way of, of cheating it because she's she's a legend and, and she's she's alive, right? So you have to bring truth to it. So um, that's they were just so they were able to weave it in so effortlessly and just also make her more of a human to us because we see these celebrities and they seem like they're just like another kind of person, you know, but to know that she went through this, these trials, these challenges, but she overcame them and crossed limitations that were placed because of society, um, it's, it's so inspirational and it's, it's so beautiful. A few more questions. Are you... Um old school in uh, in terms of uh, your taste in music yeah definitely so you really so listen to um, old music or music in, from the past yeah like like growing up when I was when I was young and learning how to sing I would listen to Whitney Houston Celine like Dion Tony Braxton Mariah Carey but now 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 it's kind of a mix I still do like listening to older stuff yes but you also listen to current stuff actually not not so much I don't really listen to mainstream stuff I'm not too crazy about what's kind of out there right now. Um, so I really, I'm, I'm more selective with which artists I listen to. Um, yeah, so I don't really listen to much recent stuff. All right, last question. Um, can you tell me about your um, co-actors? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, so this is Atlantis's 20th year right. celebration, mm -hmm. and Direct Bobby has assembled the most amazing cast. He, he always does. He really does. He really does. He's he's so he's a genius in, in, in knowing the proper casting. Like literally, you listen to our cast bring these songs to life, and it sounds exact. Like the quality of the voices are just so specific to the characters, and it's just it's so perfect. Um, I think everyone is, is just the most, as much as they're so talented, they're just the most amazing human beings as well. And the show is so important to have heart, and everyone collectively just brings so much heart to the show. Not just the people that are seen on stage, but everyone behind the scenes as well. The creative team, the production team, our director, everyone is just the most amazing team. And I feel so blessed to be in it. And um, everyone just, I mean, playing the role of Carol King, seeing their talent and their dedication, their passion, their love, it keeps me wanting to also be the best I can be as well. Mas magtatagal ka na ba sa Pinas? This time, um, I'm gonna be here for a week after the run, and then I'm leaving with my family. So we'll be here for closing weekend, and then we leave a week after. So. And then come back for another project. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you were if you were here. Did you hear earlier when I said no. that today? Oh, okay. Yeah. So today, because when I when I left to go back home, I was studying, and today was actually my graduation back home. Oh. Yeah. Congrats. So thank you, thank you. So since I just finished school, um, I also quit my job. I was teaching voice and piano back home, but I quit my job. So now I really would just love to focus on performing and just further pursuing, um, just taking whatever I can from this experience as an artist, as a performer with me, whatever I do next. Yeah, I would love to continue performing. Though. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.